Hello! I just thought I'd share my first thoughts on Battle Series 38, which I've not had very long at all. Uh, straight off the bat, I've already run into a few issues. Uh, first of which was transferring files from my PC using the network, you know, the backslash backslash Batasira. It wouldn't pick it up at all. I got around this by doing the backslash backslash uh, IP address in the uh, folder, you know, the folder search bar, which then kicked in. And now it even reads the backslash backslash Batasira for some strange reason. But that was a, an initial uh, problem I picked up from the off. off. Uh, I noticed that the BIOS uh, pack that I downloaded is a whooping great big three and a half gigabytes. So I've got it on OK. And when I first started using this, the menu system scrolled along really sluggishly. So it has a bit of an alarm bell ringing there. Uh, but a reboot and it's completely fine. The, it scrolls around. Fantastic. No problem. Here's MSX. It's now split up into its four categories. It's no longer grouped. I had a double take on Philips video pack thinking it was a completely new system, but that's what it looked like on the old system. Clay pigeon shooting. Why not? Another annoying little issue I came across were on PS3. One of my favourite games is Mayhem, and it does not work. But this is the i5-7500T. I did load it in the same disc, put it into a 8500T, and I got it working on there. So maybe it's some sort of hardware thing. Who knows? NASCAR Unleashed, on the PS3, and working great. All is not lost. I thought I'd have a bit of fun with Burnout Dominator on the PS2, as it's already running at double the resolution. I thought I'd crank it up to three times, and then I discovered, as with Battle Seed 37, that the frames per second does not show when you turn it on. One indicator is that if you listen to the audio at three times resolution, you can hear that it's stretched out a little bit. And the same's happening on Battle Seed 37, but not quite as bad. So my gut instinct is that Battle Series 37 is running PS2 ever so slightly better. But I could be wrong. Oh! Tekken 3, over on PS1, oh! running at 6 times. Get ready! Now, I tried Dreamcast at 4 times resolution on Dead or Alive 2. It looks amazing. It plays fantastic, but the audio is breaking up in places. Well, I'll leave this little video here with Sega Saturn's Pandemonium. <laughs> 